All right, let's now shift our attention to Afghanistan. Now, women are fighting taboos to stand equal on the social stage in the country. A recently formed dance group with female dancers specializing in the authentic Sama dance is now breaking barriers. Women twirl in a traditional dress in a studio space in Kabul for the very first time. Sama dance is a legacy in Afghanistan originating from the 13th century by well-known poet Rumi. It has spread throughout the Muslim world and is predominantly performed by men in dancing and swirling movements. But now, Afghanistan is its first woman dancing troupe. However, this is also inviting some very harsh criticism as well from the extremists. مخالف بیشتر شده خصوصا بنیادگرایی که در کشور وجود داشته اونا هیچ دنیا سیاسفید میبینن از چشم خود و هیچ رنگ دیگر قبول ندارن ما با مواجه شدیم با بعضی هایشان که عملا اگر روبرو نیامدن نگفتن پشت صحنه حرفای زدن که اینا نباید وجود داشته باشه اینا نباید باشن چیزی که ما میخواییم بگم ما برای دور کردن مردم نیمدیم که ما به این مردم اختشاش ایجاد کنیم ما آمدیم تا مردم رو وصل کنیم The group consists of about 20 members of both men and women who train thrice a week Western Kabul has seen increasing number of attacks View dancers feel that this form of dance gives them momentary peace. But these women are now facing threats from the Taliban as well. The dance pioneers are concerned that if Taliban returns to power, then it will bring more extreme form of Islam. The Taliban banned women from playing music or appearing in public with their faces uncovered when they had come to power back in the year 1996. اگر شخصا کسی بیایه با عنوان که بگن من از جمله گروه های طالب هستم خودت سمو نکو اول همه یه اجازه رو نمیتونم برش چون طالب ها کسایی نیستن که بیایم برای ما خط مشق تقییم کنن که شما هست در چه حدی باشین چون خط مشق خودشان غلط هستن و من شخصا با عنوان یک تعدالگرایی که هم خود منویتگرا من هستم و هم در جامعه مدرن زندگی میکنم برش میتونم بگم که in the recent years, women have won crucial rights in Afghanistan, making gains in areas such as social activities, education and work. But with the United States increasingly interested in negotiating a peace deal with the Taliban to try and bring to an end to the 18-year-old invasion of Afghanistan by itself, the fear of losing some of the hard-fought freedoms is a terrifying reality for these women.